here's a different video from my channel. I wanted to do a couple of Milwaukee vlogs and see how they went and get your feedback. If you like them, I'll do more. I want to start off in my neighborhood. This is the Bayview neighborhood in Milwaukee. And as you can see, that's why they call it Bayview. You can see the South Shore Yacht Club. It's a historic landmark and also the skyline. Now, this was its own village from 1879 to 1886, only seven years. And it was annexed by the city of Milwaukee because there's a lot of benefits of being part of a major city. Now, this was founded as a company town by Milwaukee Ironworks, which was a foundry. And this was a foundry neighborhood for many, many years up until probably 20, 25 years ago. And then it changed. So we're going to have a look at some of those foundries where they were and some cool stuff about my neighborhood, Bayview in Milwaukee. What you're looking at is Bayview Tower. This is a 24 story condo complex built in 1964, I believe. In contrast, see these little houses down here. It's my understanding that these were some of the first houses where some of the people from Milwaukee Ironworks lived way back in the 1800s. And right over here, I'll show you in a minute behind my dirty truck, is where the Ironworks used to be and I'll show you what's there now. It's a park, I believe it was called Rolling Mills or something like that, but it's Milwaukee Ironworks. It's right over here. This is now a very trendy area. This bar over here is really good. They serve good burgers and stuff. It's called Palomino. Uh, very retro. The decorations in there haven't changed since probably the 50s. But yeah, they got really good burgers. The Zucker Brothers, little Hollywood connection here, are from Milwaukee. This was the old Nordberg factory up until, I don't know, probably about I don't know, 20 years ago. Now, as some of you know who like to watch The Naked Gun, Nordberg was O.J. Simpson's character in that film. It was named after this factory. There was a big sign on the freeway that said Nordberg on it. And when we used to go out downtown on the way on the freeway, a friend of mine and I used to try to have a competition of who can say Nordberg first once we passed the factory. Dumb game, but it was on the way out to clubbing. Here's another view of the old Nordberg foundry. Now, our vocabulary word for the day is foundry. What is that? That's a factory that does iron or metal work. There's my dirty truck. They call them foundries. Sometimes they forge, sometimes they just bend, sometimes they build stuff, but they're typically called foundries. This is what most of the old foundries look like. They're now strip malls, grocery stores, stuff like that, which is pretty cool. There are a lot of towns that I go to, and a lot of the old factories are still just sitting there. Around here, they're pretty good about knocking it over and doing something new, or rehabbing them into something like loft apartments or office buildings. Now you may think I have a thing for foundries. I totally don't, but I'm showing you this stuff for a reason. This is Milwaukee Forge. This is the last foundry that I know of in the area that's still operational. It makes a lot of noise. You can hear it in my studio every morning. Doom, doom, doom. So this whole neighborhood was all foundries and factories and the people who lived here worked there. When they all started closing up, the people either moved away or they retired and the neighborhood was never a bad neighborhood, but there really wasn't anything going on here for a long time. And then I bought a house here about 10 years ago. After that, things started to change. This became the new cool neighborhood. Making a quick stop here at Humboldt Park as we drive past. This is a beautiful park. It's quite big. Big band shell here. They have a beer garden here all summer. Right now it's Memorial Day, so there's a lot of people here having picnics and things. But it's a really, really nice park just to come and chill out, go for a walk, walking past picnic areas, all that kind of stuff. And all along Oklahoma Avenue, looking over the park, there are all of these beautiful brick homes, craftsman style, some of them big, some of them small, but really cool property over here. This is Trowbridge Elementary School. It was built in 1905. And my house is actually right behind Trowbridge. This was a school that Spencer Tracy went to. Spencer Tracy was in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. He was also the dad in the original Guess Who's Coming to Dinner with Sidney Poitier. So there, a little Hollywood history for you. I got one more to show you here in just a second. Who saw the movie Bridesmaids? Well, if you did, the principal photography was done here in Milwaukee, and that is the apartment that the, the main character lived in in Bridesmaids. The way you can tell is when you're watching the movie, you can see the corner of this building over here. Across the street, there's the kind of crazy looking, interesting, unique building that you can see. Yeah, pan over here. This is the Avalon Theater. This theater was built in 1929. It was a neighborhood movie theater. 
And yeah, there were show movies here for a really long time, up through, I guess, the 2000s. It became a budget cinema for a while. Then it shut down. Somebody bought it and transformed it into a brand new cinema. They put in 4K screens, cool sound systems, recliners. They do food. They do beverages. You can go in there and get a meal. You can get a cocktail while you're watching a movie. It's pretty cool. And there's two screens. The main screen, and then there's something called the Backstage Theater. Something real cool about the Avalon is they have something called an atmospheric ceiling. It's pretty rare these days. It looks like stars. When you look up, you can see stars. So right behind my house, and Troll Bridge is right next to it, here's an old movie theater I wanted to show you. It was converted into a studio for a photographer back in the 80s, I believe. And the reason I'm showing you this is if you have a look at Google Maps, the photographer has a sense of humor. We're in the flight path, and this is what's on the roof. I just looked at all the footage that I shot today and I realized that I didn't make my neighborhood look that interesting after all. I should probably call this video Foundries and Movie Theaters because that's pretty much what I showed you besides a couple of little things. But let me know what you think. This is a practice video. I'm warming up. This is the kind of stuff I was thinking about maybe doing and maybe next time we'll do more on the neighborhood. There's a lot more to see here and of course the rest of the city has tons of stuff to offer. So. I love your feedback. If you're from the area and there's something you would like me to do some video on and talk about, let me know in the comments section. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.